Hey vlogalog, I am maybe not who you were expecting if you were expecting a cute British girl and instead you've got me. I'm sorry. I am one half of the Super Carlin Brothers. My name is Jonathan Carlin. I am excited to be here on Vlogalog. I think there's a lot of very good discussion happening on this channel, and I guess this week Kevin has asked us to discuss whether or not we want kids, so that's a nice deep topic to walk into the conversation on, but here we go. I uh, personally have always wanted kids. I've, like Even since I was a kid, I've always thought, yes, I, obviously I want kids. I want to have a family. I want to, you know, raise a child. I, I don't know. I guess um, that's always just, always just been what I wanted. Um, so, like yesterday, though, when I was watching Alex's video, I was caught off guard because he was saying he was unsure if he wanted to have kids and unsure if he even wanted to get married. Which, whenever I hear people say that, I'm always, I always just like, in, in my head, I'm like, BS. Like, no, you don't, because that's just like, how I, like, I want it so, like, instinctively that, that other people could say that. It feels like they're just trying to get shock value. But, um, you know, to, to his credit, um, if my girlfriend walked up to me today and was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant, I would be like, what? Like, it would, it would freak me out, because... You know, I, it was unplanned, and it's a very, very, very uh, big deal. And, um, you know, when you're 20 or, you know, 26, um, it's difficult to fathom how it's going to change your life, because it will change it forever. Um, but that being said, uh, so I, I guess the question is, when when do you start, when, when are you ever ready, you know? Um, I actually had a friend who around the age of 20 kind of went through this and he uh, got his girlfriend pregnant and you know they weren't like married it wasn't even like a serious relationship it is just something that happened and the entire length of the pregnancy was surrounded it was treated like like a like gossip like this crazy horrible news story and everyone was you know throwing a lot of um, very ignorant and somewhat selfish thoughts around just, you know, this, that what a mistake he made, you know, this kid, this is going to ruin his life, like, this, this is it for him, you know, this is, this, this is his fault, this is her fault, what, uh, you know, and everyone, everyone's trying to make sense of it because no one's had to deal with it before, and it was, the entire length of the pregnancy was like that, and I don't, I don't know if that's how he felt, like, oh my god, I've ruined my own life, like, how, how could I have done this, but... What was really interesting and almost like magic was how the moment, the moment that his son came into existence, you could not say any of that anymore. Like you could no longer, like because that child is so innocent, like you can't say this kid was a mistake. This, your, you know, th this was his fault. This, um... You know, like there's, there, you you wouldn't say any negative thing like that anymore because it it was no longer true. Like the immediate, um, the immediate connection between like uh, parent and offspring was like so strong and so obvious that all of it just melted away. You know, like you know, my my friend would, you know, as a parent, any any decent human being could never, like, say, I, I, I regret having you, this, you are a mistake. That's not at all, like, I don't think he regrets having his child at all. Like, you know, probably the happiest, you know, I'm sure he's very happy to be a father. And yes, it um, obviously changed his life forever and irreversibly, and it definitely probably made things a lot more difficult and probably will remain more difficult for an extended amount of time, but um, if, if he could go back and make another decision, I, I don't think, I don't think he would, and I don't think, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you could ever say that, would I go back in time and not have my kid? <laughs> that's, that's a horrible, horrible thing to think, so... Yes, I understand the idea that you could not want to have a kid, and even if you really believe that and you actively are not trying to have a child, um, 
I think even if that's your belief, if you ended up with one anyway by some accident or some circumstance, I do not think you would regret it. So I guess that's where I stand on that. I don't know what my point was there. That's just sort of where we landed. I like this one take vlog along. Well done. Well done. Um, that being said, I'm not I'm not condoning like anyone just go out and be crazy and you know get pregnant at like 16 or something because you'll love your child even though you will um, you know you should definitely find someone you want to raise a child with and then marry them and then talk about it and then adopt a puppy and then talk about it again and sleep on it and then have a kid you know when you're very 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 ready because it is an enormous responsibility and I think um, planning that stuff out makes <laughs> probably a happier childhood for the kid and for you and just everyone involved. Um, I don't know, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that if you have a, um, if you've experienced that situation in any capacity. Um, someone who was very un unprepared for a birth that had to go through it. Um, I would love to hear about that and read about it. I will comment on it. Um, from my own channel, which as I said was the Super Carlin Brothers, I share it with my brother Ben. We upload two videos a week, Tuesday and Thursday. I'm sure the Vlogalog crew will be polite enough to leave a link down to our channel down in the description. Um, I think that's it for me though because I have to go make my own Super Carlin Brother video because it's Tuesday and they decided that I should upload on Tuesday for the Vlogalog. Two videos, one day. <laughs> so excited. So excited. Um, that's it for me. Thanks for letting me be on the channel. Um, I'll be on it again next week. Looking forward to whatever the new topic is. I will uh, see you guys in another life.